Hi, and welcome to this Lenten meditation for today, Tuesday, March 21st. I've been lucky enough to be uh, included in those what's called the first cohort for the spiritual direction classes that the Archdiocese is calling the uh, Institute of the Transfiguration. It's a group of 25 or so people from around the Archdiocese who were gathering together for a period of two years to learn more and more about the art and the ministry of spiritual direction. And one suggestion I've learned in my time in spiritual direction classes so far, at first glance, may seem to be rather harsh and somewhat un-Catholic. There was a Benedictine abbess who wrote, in my interpretation, telling us to stay in your lane. And at first blush, that seems to be a put-down, something that we would normally tell someone who, in our opinion, seemed to be getting just a little bit too big for their britches. We would shout at them, hey, stay in your lane. In other words, why don't you just accept and play the role that I have assigned you? In reality, her words were more accurately said to be, stay in your cell. Cells being those little rooms that the monks or the nun would be given to live in, to pray in, to sleep in. She was simply telling them, stay in your cell. It was this abbess's advice for those who came into the abbey wanting to change the world all in one big bite. When I think about her comments, stay in your cell more deeply, I know just how brilliant her advice truly was. She's encountered each one of these people and encouraging them and counseling them to stay in your cell. Simply meaning, if you want to change the world, let's start by changing ourselves. Wouldn't it be fantastic if this Lent we could all just adopt the practice of staying in our cells, to take these 40 some days and first change our own lives, then perhaps move that cell out a little bit wider into the world and work to change our families, then our workplace, our schools, our communities, and then the world, all by staying firmly in ourselves.